I keep forgetting how to use it, so here's a quickie on increasing audio quality and volume in Audacity. This video will go over some of Audacity's tools that will alter your audio for the better or the worse depending on how you use them. Just remember there is no substitute for recording good quality audio in the first place. Ok, let's begin. Noise Reduction The noise reduction tool can be found at the top in the effect tab. This tool basically samples a part of your waveform and then tries to reduce the sound of that sample throughout your selected audio. For example, I don't know if you can hear, but this part of the track is just ambient room noise and we would like to reduce that noise throughout the track. So the first thing you do is select a sample, go to noise reduction and click get noise profile. After, select the area you want to apply the reduction to, in this case I want to apply it to everything. You then go back to the noise reduction window and simply click OK. This is good for making background noise less noticeable and can lower peaks in your audio, making the next tool more effective. Gain Slider The gain slider can be found next to your waveform on the left. It's a slider marked with the plus and the minus. This is the easiest way to uniformly control the volume of your audio. I don't actually recommend this method as it does not save you from accidentally making your audio clip. To put it very simply, clipping is when your sound is too high and the output meters in the top right start showing red vertical lines. This is bad because clipped audio tends not to sound good and you also run the risk of damaging speakers and causing discomfort to the listener, in the worst case scenario. So yeah, use this responsibly. Amplify. The Amplify tool can be found at the top in the Effect tab. Much like the Gain Slider, this tool is for raising and lowering the volume of your audio. At a base level, all you want to do is select the portions of your track you want to work with, select Amplify and click the OK button. This will raise the volume to the point where your audio might start to clip a little. I don't recommend doing anything else with Amplify, but if you're still unhappy with the volume, you can alter it by sliding the amplification bar left and right. If your selection means that some clipping will occur, you have to click the Allow Clipping checkbox before it lets you click OK. This is because the tool is trying to protect your audio. Envelope The Envelope tool is a tool that kind of looks like an hourglass, right at the top in the middle. This tool gives you even greater control over the volume of your audio, enabling you to visually fine-tune audio levels at different parts of your track. When you click the tool, a blue border will line the top and bottom of your audio track. Click on the blue line to make nodes and drag them up and down to play with the volume. It's really useful for when you have a really oddly loud or quiet section in your audio, or if you want to fade the track in and out. Don't go too crazy, but don't be afraid to play around to get the results you are after. Just remember, Ctrl Z works very well here. Okay, future me, let's get started.